Tonight, family, friends, and the entire community gather to remember a seven-month-old baby girl. It, it hurts so bad to see her and watch my best friend go through this. That little girl was killed when a car crashed into her stroller on Sunday. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paula Suro tells us how her death has one lawmaker calling for change. Tears, hugs, just a scene of raw emotion during tonight's vigil for little Nairi Green. It, it hurts so bad to see her and watch my best friend go through this. And watch her cry and not be able to tell her, you know, it's going to be okay because it's not. Grieving family, friends, and even strangers joined together in prayer. They released balloons in memory of the baby who died after being hit by a car Sunday night while sitting in a stroller. The mother heartbroken, father heartbroken, family, anybody that was connected to that baby is devastated. That baby was a beautiful baby. The mother loved her so much. The baby constantly smiled. It's just a tragedy. In the wake of this tragedy, many are wondering why the mother was walking in the street with her baby. Residents say walking on the street is common because, as you can see, sidewalks in the area are literally crumbling. I have a child now walking on the streets and with her strollers for the simple fact that some of these sidewalks are messed up and they do wear down the tires, so it's hard to even stroll on a sidewalk. Council member David Franzak has been working to repair these sidewalks since last summer. He says the destruction of some of them is the fault of contractors. What really bugged me is that, you know, I mentioned this in the council floor because I thought it was terrible, is that those demolition contractors, when they came on with their heavy equipment, they shattered sidewalks. City ordinances say in these cases, contractors have to replace the sidewalks, but it looks like this didn't happen on Moselle streets, and residents are well aware. I just feel like the government should start fixing the sidewalks, therefore no incidents like this will ever happen again. Funeral arrangements are set for this Friday morning at 10 a.m. at True Bethel Baptist Church. In the meantime, family members have set up a GoFundMe page where you can donate money for the family to cover all these funeral expenses. And I'll have a link to that in our page at WKBW.com. In the newsroom, Palacero, 7 Eyewitness News.